Light is everywhere, but to see it, paradoxically, we must turn it on in our minds. The purpose of this presentation is not to describe the properties of light, but to spark curiosity and interest, to stimulate questions and researches. The projected picture shows a PC in the hands of an operator. This image, sensitive to body temperature, is anomalous. It is not generated by visible light, but by infrared rays, not directly detectable by our eyes. What is light? The characteristics of light are various. In the first place it is a wave, similar to that which propagates on the surface of the water or that spreads the sound. The light beam also possesses a unique property. The oscillation does not refer to matter, but to electric and magnetic fields. These, drawn in red and blue, may exist even in a vacuum. In fact, we receive the light from distant stars that reaches us after covering vast regions without matter. How fast is light? In just one second, it covers 300,000 kilometers. The speed of sound in air is 1,235 kilometers per hour. Light is almost 900,000 times faster. How do we grasp this enormous speed? Let us consider the Earth-Moon distance, approximately 385,000 kilometers. To measure it the astronauts of Apollo 11 deposited a set of mirrors on the moon. The light sent from Earth took about 2.5 seconds to make the round trip. For the astronauts the same trip took more than 8 days. To hit with a beam of light a mirror on the moon. How is it possible? It is possible with the laser light. Left. The light waves emitted from a normal lamp are incoherent, they are emitted from atoms in an independent manner, and polychromatic, they include all the colors of the spectrum which, when added together, produce white. Center. A blue light with monochromatic waves, but still incoherent. Right. The laser light, monochromatic and coherent, the atoms emit collectively. Who discovered laser light? Stimulated emission, basis of the laser effect, was discovered by Einstein in the context of his studies on the photon, the quantum of light. The proposal of the photon was formulated in 1905. In 1918 he wrote, I do not doubt any more the reality of radiation quanta, although I still stand quite alone in this conviction. Nevertheless Einstein was right and all others were wrong. Is it light only the visible one? No. There are other types of light waves, invisible lights distributed in the electromagnetic spectrum, radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma rays. They all are electromagnetic waves of the same type, it only changes their wavelength. Visible light has a wavelength that ranges from 0.7 microns, red, to 0.4 microns, violet. All colors are included within these two extremes. The Newton Revolution Before Newton white light was considered essence of purity, simple and homogeneous, inseparable. The colors created by the prism were believed to be a contamination of the pure light by the glass. Newton has instead demonstrated that white light is a mixture, while simple and homogeneous are the colors. When a prism separates light do we see the same colors of a rainbow? The rainbow. Is there a prism also in sky? Water droplets create the same effect of a prism, separate the colors. Sunlight is reflected, refracted, and separated into its color components by raindrops. Do only the sun create the rainbow? Even the light of the moon can produce a rainbow. It is a rare phenomenon. Aristotle wrote, We have only met with two instances of a moon rainbow in more than 50 years. Can light bend? In desert the air is warmer close to the scorching ground, with different properties of refraction and beam deflection. Under these conditions images reach our eyes through light rays which follow curvilinear paths. Our visual system, which interprets the signals as coming from straight paths, places some portions of the sky on the ground. Are there other cases where light bends? At sunset, 
the sunlight passes tangentially through the atmosphere, which absorbs the most energetic wavelengths, violet and blue, while the others are simply curved. Sometimes, for a few seconds, the green light alone reaches the viewer's eye giving rise to a green, but a most wonderful green, a green which no artist could ever obtain on his palette, a green which neither the varied tints of vegetation nor the shades of the most limpid sea could ever produce the like. Can light bend even in a vacuum? Light has no mass, but is deviated. In the black hole, gravity is so intense that it sucks in everything, even light. How is a black hole formed? A black hole results from a supernova, the explosion of a dying star that spreads light and matter into space. The image shows the supernova SN1994D and its galaxy. The light emitted from the supernova is comparable to that of an entire galaxy consisting of billions of stars. The residual core may become a black hole. Are there supernovae in our galaxy? The last observed in the Milky Way has been the Kepler's supernova. Here is his history. During the Stone Age, about 23,000 years ago, a star of the Milky Way completed its life cycle and exploded. The October 9, 1604 the light of the explosion reached the Earth and a new star appeared in the sky, visible for 18 months. As the image shows, we are able to detect, by superimposing data from different signals, X-rays, visible and infrared, the remnant of the explosion called Kepler's supernova, which is located approximately 23,000 light-years from Earth. What are infrared and X-rays? Infrared rays were discovered by William Herschel in 1800 while studying the thermal effects of the various colors produced by a prism. He noticed that the maximum heating occurred in the region beyond the red, even though the latter did not appear enlightened. Infrared rays are indeed invisible to our eyes. X-rays In November 1895, a 50-year-old professor of physics at the City of Würzburg and newly appointed rector, Wilhelm Röntgen continued his investigation into the mysterious cathode rays, generated in a vacuum tube and which we now know to be composed of electrons. Unexpectedly Röntgen saw fluorescent wording light up, about two meters from the apparatus. It was known that cathode rays were unable to travel such a long way. Why, then, was the writing illuminated? No known phenomenon could explain it. The new rays, still mysterious and for this called X-rays, were able to pass through many substances. The famous image of the hand of the renowned anatomy professor Albert von Kalliker, obtained using X-rays, is shown on the right. Does only a vacuum tube emit X-rays? Even the sun emits X-rays, as shown by the image sent by the U.S. satellite and made visible with the false colors technique. The wavelengths were changed, shifted into the range of visible light. How much energy does the sun emit? The sun's energy results from the transformation of mass into energy according to the formula E equals mc2. The primary nuclear reaction converts hydrogen into helium, with loss of mass and production of energy. The energy emitted per second by the sun is equal to 9.2 million billion tons of oil, that intercepted by the earth amounts to 2.9 million tons of oil equivalent. Since the world's energy consumption in 2008 amounted to 12.3 billion tons of oil equivalent, every 70 minutes we receive by the sun the energy we consume in one year. The energy of sunlight plays a vital role for life on earth. It transforms simple molecules such as water and carbon dioxide into complex structures such as glucose, main food of the plant world. Oxygen results to be a waste product. Mimicking plants, are we able to take advantage of sunlight? The energy of sunlight is used by several technologies, which have become increasingly efficient over time. The most important are solar thermal and photovoltaic. Light does not gives only energy. Our technological future will be luminous. Let us remember the great electronic revolution, 
triggered by the discovery of William Shockley, Walter Bratton, and John Bardeen in 1947. On Christmas Eve, as is apparent from the laboratory notebook, it successfully ended a long and difficult research. The development of the solid-state transistor that would replace the vacuum tubes and would allow an incredible process of miniaturization. The number of transistors in an integrated circuit has doubled every 18 months. The image shows a microprocessor of size 15x17 mm that contains 758 million transistors. All this is the basis of the digital revolution of our days. The future will be different. The miniaturization of electronic components has reached a physical limit. To go further we need to replace electrons with photons and move from electronics to photonics. In the future integrated circuits, the signals will be carried by light. Meanwhile, hybrid devices, that use both electrons and photons, are available. We are talking of optoelectronics. The one shown in the figure is an optoelectronic device on the market. The topics that have been presented and many other information can be found in the book. Visible and Invisible, The Wonders of Light Phenomena. Published by Springer. A book on light, available in English and Italian. Thanks for your attention.